Arcage. Arcage was was like a dream, you know. People have no idea how <laughs> how good of a game Arcage actually was. It was like a dream coming true. I have such a fond memories of Arcage, like. Arcage was a pioneer, a game that was 10 years ahead and it really felt like a community game, it really felt like everything we ever wanted, you know, and I have one of the best memories when it comes to Arcage. The game was perfect, there were so many good things about it, it was like an adventure, you know, it was like going on an adventure. These days we don't really have a good MMORPG games or they simply lack innovation, right? There is a good animation called The King's Avatar and every inspiring MMORPG or MOBA studio should watch The King's Avatar animation and learn how to actually make a complete game. Arcage was a perfect game. It was like a... <sighs> when everybody was playing Arcage, when the whole community was playing Arcage, it felt like the game was perfect, you know? But then later we had some issues. Uh, we had some bad system in place, like labor, labor system that... So you couldn't really play a lot. Uh, we had exploits, we had bugs, we, have, we had hackers um, and there was also a big issue with old MMORPG games the pay to win, right? Meeting 2, I still remember Meeting 2 when we played Meeting 2 with my uh, school friends, you know, after the school these are some of the best memories I have in my childhood playing games with people and then later when you get older, when you lose connection with your friends, right? You, you, you realize that friends are probably the thing that what made those games so much more special. Because we were really competing and we were working together and we were just exploring new things. But now we are living in the age of YouTube when everybody is trying to spoil everything just for the sake of content creation. And YouTube is the biggest business in the world. And when you make something your career, you lose, you lose motivation, you lose it's not genuine anymore, right? Sometimes I just want to return in those, to those times, you know, when Arcage or Meeting, or when we were playing Arcage or Meeting or Battlefield Heroes together with my friends. But, you know, I'm happy that those things happen, you know, and now it's time to move on. You have to take those moments as your inspiration, as your guiding light when you you are, when you are in darkness, right? Also, wreckful, yes.
I still remember when I bu built my, fir my first house on Arcage. It was on an island and there was no way for me to actually get, get all those materials there. But I just found a random guy in the open world that already had his ship, right? And he helped me to transport all those materials to build my dream house on an island, you know? It was such an experience and Arcage really felt like a whole new universe to explore and... Oh man... Hello guys, Arcage, one of the best MMORPG games ever made, is actually coming back. So if you type Arcage Classic on Google, let's see, the Arcage is coming back August the 4th. So that's how much? No, almost one to week, very soon. So one of the, the things I really like about it is the classes. There are so many different combinations you can do. Um, for example, if you have witchcraft, occultism, some of the strongest spells like impel, you see, one impel. I'm not sure if the newest class is gonna be there at the launch, but some some of these classes have really interesting abilities, for example. Occultism. Teleport the caster directly behind an ally or the enemy. And then we have another spell. Grasping Void. Teleport the casters and up to 15 allies to selected location within 10 meters. So you can use this to engage with a group. And then use Impel AoE. Uh, this is gonna be very interesting build. On top of that, you can actually go uh, defense class, gives you imprison, imprison. So imagine you teleport in and you imprison everybody. And then you use some of these uh, uh, reflect spells, uh, can't be cc spells, right? So this build is actually very interesting. Uh, it can be very fun playstyle, you have double teleport with shadow step and with the grasping void. So for our early game we can actually go this, 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 bam, bam, get all the best spells, yes. Bam, 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 uh, one more, bam, bam. You see, there are so many good spells in this game, man, it's insane. And it's really fun, you know, discovering all these new classes and possibilities you can do. So this build is very interesting. You have some of the strongest spells in the game that allows you to teleport you and your group up to the selected location. You can teleport in with your group 
and then you can use imprison creates a wall of magic around the caster imprisoning all characters within the radius for 10 12, 12 seconds and it can be destroyed so imagine you teleport in with a soccerer or with occultism occultism you have impel you have aoe cc uh, you have blade fall uh, a ring throw is also really good uh, for single target uh, makes the enemy disabling the right-handed weapon for five seconds or we have malicious binding so many good crowd control abilities we have here so this will really allow you to control the group and this is your early game you also have knockback on this uh, lions here so a lot of crowd control a lot of control mm. against cc we have redoubt very strong ability in my opinion You can also go stealth, for example. You can change witchcraft. Let's see, shadow play, very interesting too. You have move speed and attack speed for 30 seconds. It's really fun. Uh, you have sh um, leap backward, backward. Sorry for uh, leap back. You know. So let's see what can we go here. Also, these poisoned weapons actually might be pretty good in early game. I wonder. If you cannot have malediction, but malediction is probably for late game fun, you know. You have grasping void, good AoE, some very interesting abilities like Shadow Cloak, which makes you, I think, immune to everything for four seconds or something like that. You can also go invisibility, makes you invisibly, you know, you can get damage for six seconds, insanely good very interesting so this is gonna be more for a aggressive playstyle so we teleport in with grasping void me or my guild or my build we can also go change skills to occultism and pick shadow leap you see shadow leap is instant cast this is you have to cast it once one two point seconds but it's very fast uh, you can first cast this and double teleport very interesting build uh, we have some damage too, you know, blade fall, uh, we can pick some of the goodies here, bam. <laughs> you can also pick that vengeance, you do insane damage when you die, that's my be very fun. <laughs> uh, Hell spear, AoE uh, impel, very strong. Uh, bone yard, make bones, uh, what else can you pick here? AoE, this is also AoE actually. Um, Hello guys, as you know me, I really love theory crafting and that is actually a very interesting build. In just one or two weeks we are actually gonna get Arcage Classic and Arcage was one of the best MMORPG ever created. Like there's, <laughs> I have such a fond memories of Arcage. Now there is a really good build, uh, you know this is why I love such things, okay, you can go Sorcery. Uh, let's see this is level 20 okay so then we also go occultism and then we have a few more options we can go defense or malediction but what i'm trying to say here is that you can actually have three teleports in your build now magic circle summon a magic circle increase magic damage use this skill again to teleport back to the magic circle location okay and then we also have shadow step teleport the caster directly behind an enemy or an ally okay one of the most fun abilities in the game and you can actually combine it with uh, defense this is what I'm probably gonna go so something like battle match or something like that uh, you can actually get in prison so it creates a wall of creates a wall of magic around the caster imprisoning all characters now imagine you teleport to the enemy group and you imprison them all right and then before that you can actually use magic circle and then teleport back if things go bad for example or you can actually go uh, witchcraft and you go mirror warp for example and another teleport you know and this is so fun this is why i love such things and you also have some abilities that actually gives you cc immunity so you can teleport in use the circle use the CC immunity and then AOE them down or something. You can also use a very good combo of Impel into Kraus. Uh, decrease the accuracy by 200 when used on Impelled targets. 
This is insane. Ins this is actually insane crowd control. This is miss. Miss is effect uh, magical and physical. It's insanely good. Actually, yeah, witchcraft defiler would be actually very interesting, do you know? And for early game, we can just go actually go to insta cast abilities, absorb life force and crippling mire. And these are actually pretty strong abilities, a shadow step. So I wonder, I really need to try uh, how um, how magic works. Uh, wait, wait, where is it? Our uh, song sorcery, how this magic circle works. Because if this works as I think uh, as it does, uh, use it to bed. Yeah, like, this is gonna be insane, man. <laughs> a battle match. Yeah, this is so, such a fun ability. Mm, then you can actually also go witchcraft, so you have uh, bread, you know, or you can actually go both occultism and witchcraft, and you're a demonologist, you know, <laughs> you get this uh, AOE uh, stuff. So, but I also, th there is also another interesting thing. Let's go malediction. Oh, the lag on this side, bro. Occultism, okay. There is another teleport ability called Grasping Void at level 35 if you go Malediction. I'm not sure if Malediction and some of these classes are gonna be available on the start, but this is actually such a fun ability. Imagine you teleport the group in and then you teleport again and imprison them all. So you can actually go Defense, Mind Slaver. This is also a very interesting build. You teleport in, you block them, and then you can actually use a lot of this AOE here we have, Kraus, Pierce, bam, bam, right? Uh, CC immunity. Uh, also, if you wanna be tanky against you know all those dark, dark runners, just go defense. That's why I'm probably gonna go defense. Uh, also, bull rush is six six second hard crowd control. Very underrated ability. Uh, you can go a lot of sustain. You also have actually CC uh, cancel, stand, impel, trip, snare, slow. Now this is like CC immunity, this is very strong in PvP, um, you actually have double CC immunity, which is actually huge in defense, uh, so you don't need to go Aeromancy for example. Uh, this very interesting build also, you can get Shield of Steel and Shield Mastery, which are both very strong against physical damage. So. Also you, you can actually get Retribution, the more damage you take, the more damage you return. Insane ability. Uh, we need one more, I think. We can get Mockney Howl. And then we get Shield Mastery. And we get a Shield of Steel, which is huge against any physical damage. So we're gonna be very tanky. I assume with this build we're gonna have a shield up. And we're gonna have insane crowd control. You know, this is actually 6 second AoE crowd control. Uh, this is pushback. You can actually just take this and then. Uh, it pushes the target back when you have 10 melees and you just activate this beforehand. There are actually some very strong abilities in, in Malediction. Uh, very strong abilities. Let's see, we can go this, this, this. Another crowd control, another crowd control. Immunity, uh, remove uh, right hand weapon. Also, this blade fall is very good AoE ability. So, if you need more AoE, you can go Mind Slaver. Or which you can just go Witchcraft here. Uh, no witchcraft, witchcraft will be fun, but sorcery maybe for the another teleport, battle mage, uh, freezing card, Alicia blast of ice, bam. Some very strong abilities, right? Meteor in PvP gonna be very fun, even though it's very hard to hit. But imagine, imagine if you do this, you teleport in, you imprison them, which actually last more than 10 seconds then you teleport back and then you use meteor strike you know <laughs> or you have you have two people who do this man this is so fun mm. even though yeah which blade will be very fun but this will be also very very good i really need to try magic circle if it works how i think it works it's gonna be very good One, two, two mobility. It's not bad. Even though instead of defense, you could actually go uh, shadow play, reaper, right? You get stealth, you get 
Uh, but then I can't do my fun combo, you know. <laughs> so we'll see, you know, this Vialo Arcage. There's so many things you can do and there are so many fun abilities you can combine. Uh, also, Cursed Thorns is another Impel. Impel is very strong crowd control. So Occultism also very good early game, I think, too. These are all insta-cast actually, and good damage, and no damage over time abilities. Kraus, uh, Shadow Step, Impel, uh, another crowd control. You can actually go Summon Wrath. Uh, you can actually use, uh, let's see, Defense, gives you CC immunity, and then you can channel this spell that do a lot of damage in AoE, you know, for example. Good idea. Dealing damage. Seize inflict impair on affected enemies, preventing all action. Very strong. Some very strong abilities here, that's for sure. Oh, we have to pick this one though. Hmm. Um, we can take something from here, not sure why. Maybe this because it's only for Noir, but it's actually 25 magic defense reduction and it can be pretty good but we need this uh, we can do this do this but we still have more so we can pal this is six second hard crowd control actually so crowd control is so good in this game so this is why we actually go defense and all these three. You have so much utility, du double teleport. You have one of the strongest skills in the game, make you CC immune, uh, reflect damage. Uh, the more damage you take, the more mental you get, and then you can heal more. And you have AOE in prison, very interesting. Even with invisibility, if you play more aggressively, if you know how to take enemy attention, and you can get value out of these abilities, it can be insanely good. Hell Spear, man. But you can also, you know, Melediction, not even sure it's gonna be there. You can also start with Sorcery. Actually, you know, you can do Meteor, AoEs, Flame Barriers. So this is your good AoE. And we actually change this to Witchcraft, for example. <laughs> Very good crowd control too, you know. Cabalist. Mm. But now we don't really have Teleport in anymore, so we could go... Like diction here, Blightcaster. So early game, bam. Insulating links, why not? This may be fun. Air lightning. Chain lightning. Why not? Hmm. Some really good abilities, but you you can also also get the Huta Breath. This is like a wave. Why not pick it? You know, good AOE. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, this is actually a good route, I think too. So very good. This is very good combination in early to mid game. Good single target damage and good uh, CC. <laughs> very interesting, okay, ability, very interesting. Yeah, we can actually go uh, change skill, skill set. Shadow play. Dagger spell, yeah. So you can also buy... Oh no, it's the... God damn it, it's the occultist one, right? This one. I'm interested. You can teleport the caster behind ally or enemy. Instantly. 30 second cooldown, very strong. Demonologist. <laughs> Inflict AoE fear. His damage and sleeps the enemy. I sleep only 1.5 second in PvP though. No, that's good.
Yeah, this is some silences that will be very nice. Filter. Two seconds fear. Uh. I need counters when I get engaged by diggers, you know? That's the thing. So CC immunity will be nice. What, do, but what about if we grow Aura? Store max mana. There's so much to this game. Immunity. I love this. I love theory crafting. It's. I'm very, very curious by the nature. Immune to fear. Free silence. Sounds good. Shrug it off. Uh, this is what we need. And some shields. Why not? It's very interesting actually. Hmm. Oh, another teleport. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, you could actually go out of oh. all. Yeah, you can go teleport. And then you actually go defense. So you can teleport and then you can uh, imprison all the enemies. And you activate reflex, CC immunity. But if you go, yeah. We don't need the Auramancy for that. We can go uh, occultism. I think Shadow Step, for example. Hmm. More AOE damage would be nice. Yeah, this the cast time of Meteor is insane. <laughs> I'm not sure if magic is even good. But you can use this and then AoE on yourself or something. <laughs> Might be fun. And then we have teleport, we have some of this. That impel is actually quite good. This, this AoE, it's not bad. But, I don't know. Impel is good, yeah, this is good. And teleport is amazing. Witchcraft. Teleport, very interesting. Hello, teleports. <laughs> it confuses the enemy. And then, occultism, bam, defiler. So, we have one teleport, we have a lot of teleports. Bubble is good, but it's cast time, right? This is nice, it's not necessary. I wanna teleport in. I have good, good AOE. I mean, Battle Mage. We have this for AOE. Inflict Fear is very interesting actually. Hmm, we don't match AOE, but we can do this, you know, we can get AOE here, 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 wait, here, 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 that's a good AOE. I reduce movement speed, it's only one, right, but it's very good for one versus one, strongly provokes the target. That deals additional damage. If you're stacking, uh, inflict provoke. Oh, this might be interesting combo. And we have CC here. I mean, some sustain is not bad, right?
This is also where you summon Kraus, it's actually AoE spell which is really strong. Boneyard, good CC, Impel, good CC, Shadow Vortex, good CC. And this is also a CC, there's so much crowd control actually here. And we have sh Shadow Step, really fun ability. We can actually Shadow Step into Imprison. <laughs> that might be very easy. And then you can actually activate uh, Anti CC, some Reflect. You know, you can use the wave. You can use that vengeance when you die, you do insane damage. <laughs> it's very so many interesting builds, man. Sets inflict impel on the affected enemies. <laughs> After four seconds, very good. You know, such a fun combo with occultism or the new, uh, you also have the teleport ability. We can actually use mirrors, there are so many good teleport abilities. Uh, occultism. Uh, 
Melediction also has very strong teleport ability. Ooh. It's only 10 meters though. And occultism one is 18 meters. Hmm. Then you, you, you instantly use in prison like a god. <laughs> Not sure this is worth it, this is only for one enemy though. That might be interesting. This skill can destroy a boneyard. Interesting. Holy shit, impairs enemies when they miss you with an attack. Yeah, it's hard to miss, I think. That one would be actually a very interesting one. Chris Witchcraft. Cooldowns. Hmm. Interesting. Uh. Hmm. Two, three, six, seven. So I need one more here and one less somewhere else. Um, instant. Very good area. Yeah. Hmm. What do we take there? Maybe this. We'll buy something for it again.
impel impel very nice <laughs> Very interesting. Oh man, I forget to pick the Kraus. Summon a Kraus that attack all enemies, dealing magical damage. Quite a lot actually. On top of that, give, giving them million, million range accuracy minus 30%. Uh, Fix tells he targets up to what? The combos. Decreased all accuracy by 200% when used on impaled targets. This is actually insane. So they're gonna miss almost every attack if I only use Hell Spear. Or what do we have for impel? Or Bladefall. Probably have even more impel somewhere. High than. <laughs> that might be very good. Very good, I need to take this. This is a good uh, pushback. Instant cast, very nice, kinda low cooldown. This teleports your uh, your team, very strong. Good uh, we, good, uh, good crowd control, maybe we can take binding. It is also another useful CC, I think. So we, you can get instant melees for soul or this increase. If you have 10 melees in skill damage, it petrifies the target for 2 seconds. Deal AoE damage too. This, this. We just don't use this. Maybe just pick absorb life force. This is actually quite good. You know, a lot of this is actually magical damage. And this actually reduces target magical protection by 25%. So it can be interesting combo. Also, we need Kraus, right? Anything else? Skill refreshment. Cancel, stun, impel, trip, snare, slow. I mean, we need this, don't we? We need anti-crowd control. 
But some really fun combos here, man. I can't wait to play again this game. This game is so deep. This game was one of the best games ever, for real. But I, you know what? I really wanna try. You know, you can actually double, double teleport on this build. Teleport behind the enemy, or teleport your group by 10 meters. So <laughs> you can engage with your group and then instantly use imprison to imprison all enemies around you. And then you can you have so many good combos, right? You can use impel hard crowd control into blind into echo, echo decrease the accuracy by 200% when used on impelled targets that's insane that's so insane so they, they won't be able to hit abilities on me and then what we can use good AOE single target crowd controllers we have a lot of them we have pushback we can also use anti crowd control abilities and even reflect the more damage you take the more we for uh, whenever you receive damage from a direct attack you deal melee damage and deal additional damage to, to up to 20 enemies yeah the more damage you take the more you return interesting even you can even go invisibility this is also some sustain you know we activate this when before we go in and we also receive mental and the more mental we have the more we can actually heal then against crowd controls we have double ability against and crank crowd control so very strong some hard protection uh, aoe damage is a bit less but we actually have quite a lot of uh, instant cast instant cast aoe double aoe crows boneyard even and a lot, a lot of single uh, target crowd control too, we have Malicious Binding, we have a Rising Throw, Ring Throw, uh, Impel of course, oh, Shadow Vortex, a lot of crowd control in this build, that's for sure. Let's see what we go. I'm not even sure how Shadow Cloak works. Cloaks the caster in, magi in magical shadows that deflect eyes and minds for up to up to five seconds i mean this might be very good to reset you know but i don't know we could actually also go you know we don't take this tree but we actually go uh, witchcraft and then it's to, to take the a very big wave of damage and push its enemies push it enemies are staggered briefly disabled movement and skill use and cancel all the cast time this is actually a very strong ability you know if i teleport in use uh, my counters and then i also have to do some damage so this will be very nice single target crowd control aoe fear uh, mirror warp <laughs> you can actually have so many teleports imagine imagine if you also be oh my god you could actually have three teleports mirror warp shadow step and then you can go, uh, you know, uh, Melediction and you have that uh, 10 meter teleport for your whole team. Might be very good. Just to confuse your enemy <laughs> and crowd control them. And AoE push, AoE push. AoE impel, AoE push, you know, <laughs> so much crowd control. You could just teleport around and do crowd control, you know. You can also apply the effect a single enemy with cursed seed. After 4 seconds the thorn sprout and you deal damage and seeds inflict impair on the affected enemies pre preventing all action. Nice. Also, this is like impel. You can also cast it on the ground, and if you just if somebody is gonna be beside you, you gonna impel him. So this is free impel. If you double impel here, you can also go AOE silence. That will also be strong. Imagine you, you know, teleport in, imprison, AOE silence, push. There's so many things you can do, right? Impel. Yeah, Defiler. See, man, this game is so interesting. Also, we probably need something to reset everything, right? So, invisibility at level 55. 
6 second damage immunity to everything that might be a good way to reset and get abilities back you know like wave aoe silence sleep you know a lot of crowd control impel a lot of crowd control that's for sure <laughs> this might be good you know you summon this and then you teleport in <laughs> This is actually channel it sadly. The skill doesn't trigger global cooldown. Increase healing by This is actually quite an insane ability, it's insta-cast, it's do insane amount of damage and reduce target healing by 90%. This might be actually very good in early, too, too late game. If the target moves more than 20 meters away from the spell, it ends early and even stunning them. Interesting, and this is a good early game, you know. I mean, this slow is interesting, but that won't help you stop them. Play that, don't really need. Shadow Step, very interesting ability. Scrows, uh, Tonus might be very good too. That's pretty much what we need for, you know. We have a good early game, okay. I could go Malediction here, might be actually very interesting. Especially if you go Soulbound Edge for single target, reduce their magical protection by 25% and get insta stacks so you don't have to worry. Or you can petrify them for 2 seconds, might be good. Malicious Binding, very good crowd control, good crowd control, good crowd control. Bam. And we also wanna go defense for in prison, bam, 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 invisibility, bam, bam, <laughs> mind slayer, slayer, or oh, slaver. If you actually want to double teleport, yeah, gonna be very tanky too. Good crowd control, good single target. And you have double teleport, man, oh my god. Even though, though this one, the other one, when you can just teleport in witchcraft is also interesting. Because you don't need to pick a person, you just teleport left or right. But it's 18 meters, so it's very interesting. And then you go in prison. <laughs> and this actually AoE also, you have actually double AoE impel. Which is really strong. Yeah, quite high cooldown, but very good. But we might go something totally else, right? Even sorcery might be very interesting, or witchcraft. So we have more teleports. <laughs> more crowd control. Some AoE. Uh, AoE fear, AoE s s a single target sleep, bubble, a lot of crowd control in witchcraft. Uh, you can actually go Earth and Grip, is also, s all these abilities here crowd control, AoE silence, like, it's insane. You can really be, you know, crowd control spammer. Even use friends, Knil, why not? You can just cast it before you go in, 
before you start teleporting around with shadow step and uh, mirror warp. You can teleport around and you just spam these crowd control abilities in a team fight. Might be very very interesting. You mostly have magical damage, so you just go magical build. Maybe you can even go tanky magical build with dagger or shield or wand, you know. One more and we get this. Or this. Reduce enemy skill damage by 15%. I don't know. But physical... Might be very good. You know, we, we're gonna try to crowd control us with melee and so shield mastery and we go shield might be very good, I think. I use boosted roll on somebody who gets me. I, it's very strong. Move speed is also very good slow. Will we actually just go bull rush? Uh, preventing the use of melee and range skills by almost 6 seconds. Actually very good ability bull rush. You can actually combine it I think with... Something. Inflict these trees on affected enemies if you them the fear of bull rush. <laughs> Might be good though. So many combos you can do. We have this for this immunity. Or this. Range caster only. Grant immunity to stun, impel, trip, snare, slow, shackle and dive. Stack mental and then you can heal more, it's good, yeah. Maybe we just don't even need this, we go mocking hole here. <laughs> inflict all, on all enemies around you. Uh, inflict shaken, increase, the, reduce, inflict distress. For seven seconds, agro boost. Hmm. Hmm. So, what about if we go totally different path? I mean, this new classes probably won't be there on release, uh, so content is locked. So, sorcery might be fun. You go flame bolt. We have, what is this, some protection, armor, defense, uh, grants the caster magic shield, which absorbs damage, 5% like for max mana, gets immunity to trip before breaking, interesting. Slowing the target movement speed by 60%, very good. Cast time 3 seconds, yeah, I don't know about that, bro. Might be interesting. Instant chain lightning, yes. Searing rain, why not? Whoa, this is very good, freezing earth. But also be very good. Meteor. Okay, some really strong abilities. We could go Maldiction, reduce enemy magical armor by 25%, but I'm not sure if that's gonna be available. And there are many options. You could actually go defense at level 50, or no, you could go occultism at level 20, you have teleport, and then you use teleport into freezing earth for example, or impel, 
or Kraus. Yeah, this is actually a good combo. I don't want to take this. So maybe we might be very, very interesting. Uh, you could also use an again malediction to help team teleport. Might be very good. Uh, you can push back this. Bam bam. Bam bam bam. Very strong abilities here. Zilot. Not a tanky, but you have a lot, you have impel, you have blind, roots, some protections. <sighs> Super magic circle, increase damage and use the skill again to teleport back to the magic circle. Wow, very interesting. Ability actually. <laughs> Reduce enemy skill damage by 15%. Might be good. Actually, this build is very interesting. You know, you teleport in with Shadow Step, you use Imprison, creates a wall of magic around the caster, imprisoning all characters for 12 seconds. The shield can break. You can also get anti crowd control if you really need it. And then you just spam, you know, AoE, freeze, you can go blind, impel for AoE, uh, summoning crows, actually, Hell Spear. Decrease accuracy when used on impaled targets. Very good. Probably have to impel first and then. This shield of steel is actually quite interesting. Gonna make you really tanky and immune to crowd control. But you need a shield. And you can also go bull rush. Printing the use of all million range attacks for 6 seconds. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, do I really need all of this? Probably not, but hey. Some of them, if you go... Yeah, having Shield Master against Physical would be very good. You can do this. And do this. No, so we get uh, shield mastery and shield of steel. What makes us very tanky get physical damage. And the mages will be a still a problem, but we have some shields and AoE, blind, accuracy, decrease all accuracy by 200% when used on impaled targets. So this is insane actually. We have spear into summon crows. We can use AoE <laughs> Meteor Strike, but this ability is so hard to use, you know. But very interesting, I must say. Isn't there ability when you can use Instacast or something? I don't know. Hmm. Impel and stun effect of Bakuto Nervous.
we have curse we actually have double impel already just in occultism curse tones hell spear hmm. magic is interesting actually maybe we could just go witchcraft here <laughs> Yes, and this. It's interesting. Right. Mm -hmm. I li really love this, you know, this theory crafting. I really like this. Just wondering which combinations works the best, you know. And it's a kind of important choice, you know, you can only level uh, one thing at once and uh, it's your gameplay. I mean, the problem with this build is yes, you have a lot of movements, but not much else. I mean, you have some strong heals. So you can actually be a healer in the dungeon, which will allow you to get dungeon groups probably very easy. And then you go into crowd control AoE, thing here you can even go this so for aoe damage right there is some big abilities will be very nice and this is for late game eh? <laughs> late game bullshit you teleport in your aoe you can even teleport uh, you only have one moment i don't know if that's good you can actually lasso somebody <laughs> 20 meters and then you prison them and then you impel them, blind them, you know. You also have this uh, six seconds, preventing to use all skills for six seconds. Very strong ability in, in any situation. And you could also go damage. We also can could have shield, you know, and it's also, also nice to get some of these passives from a combat tree, like shield of steel or shield of mastery, very strong against physical damage. I don't really need so much here. We could drop this. And maybe drop something here. For early game it's nice. This is actually uh, pretty good damage. And they're actually both instant cast. So this is very good occultism in early game. And then at level 20 you already have teleport. And you can do teleport. Hell spear into summon cross combo. Very good. But then how do you go out? Right? That's why you probably need shadow here. Dark Aegis, <laughs> very interesting name. This one is interesting, but hard to use. We uh, should probably go occultism first, I think. No, I have to change totally. Occultism. And then you can actually also go vital vitalism. <laughs> Oh, there is quickly teleport the caster to an ally, aha. Uh -huh. It's actually a very interesting ability. So many interesting abilities. Even though they don't give you movement speed. <laughs> but this for early game. So we don't really need this. We do this though. Be very tanky. Crowd control immunity, crowd control. Uh, teleport, of course. This, this, of course. Maybe Maybe very interesting. And this for some AOE. Then we go to Songcraft. We get some movement speed. We could get heals. So we could deal do damage, good AOE, good crowd control, but also heal. And then you can go into something more crazy, reset this, 
this is good for support because we are actually full support vitalism caretaker if you defend soundcraft and vitalism oh my god a lot of movement speed or instead of vitalism you can go shadow play night bearer so we can say movement speed right I mean, look how much movement speed you actually get here almost 30 percent almost 200 percent and to 40 percent that's almost 300 bonus movement speed <laughs> And you activate uh, Redoubt to get immunity to crowd control or beats, I mean, to clean crowd control. You teleport in, you imprison everybody. But you can't really do much more than. <laughs> oh, it's only for two seconds though. But uh, the the shadow play one actually lasts for 30 seconds, which is very good. It might be very 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 fun to use this. And also malediction, uh, grasping void to teleport the whole group into the location. 15 allies actually, that's insane. And then you can prism everybody and you do some AoE and... Let's see, we need this. A lot of crowd control. I'm gonna get some of this, nice. Shadow Guard. Very tanky, a lot of crowd control. Hmm... But then we just go occultism here. Yeah, we come back to this build once more. It's very good early game. A group, uh, you know, good imp impel into Kraus combo, which is 7 seconds crowd control. Impel plus uh, 200 accuracy, which is insanely good. Of course, we go Shadow Stab, bam. Um, and then we can use some of these fun abilities too. You know. <laughs> Yeah, this might be very interesting build, we'll see. Occultism for early game, and then... It would be actually, I think, may maybe even better that we go in prison for but it's level 50, you know. This is level 35. But teleporting in might be so un unexpected. We have actually double teleport, so we can teleport in, do our combo, and then teleport somewhere else. This is why this build might be very fun. Good tail over here, can also be very tanky, reflect, crowd control immunity, good crowd control. I really like this prism, and visibility, so we'll see. I mean, invisibility is so good, why not get it, right? And then we also get shield mastery, and a shield of steel, so... And the more mental we get, the more we heal. Very strong build. Pretty good damage, actually, if you have blade fall, you can go summon red, or you can go hell spear. Some crowd, good early game. So this is probably something I will run. You know, you actually have malicious binding, which is also a good crowd control. Five second route. So you use CC on one. You have pushback. You have impel. I know it's very specialized build. That's for sure. <laughs> the thing is that. Grasping Void is a bit predictable and if you go in with 15 allies, they're gonna AOE you down very quickly. So why not just go in solo with Shadow Step and then it actually hit 20 meter range and then you just imprison everybody. You know, this is one of the funnest combo here. And then you can actually use uh, Blade Fall, which is actually Impel together with uh, Fury. Uh, you can use uh, Hell Spear, which is also Impel into Crows. This is insane crowd control. You give everybody two, 200 accuracy reduction. So this is this affects, I think, magical and physicals. So this is like mischance, which is one of the strongest AOE uh, crowd control. Also bull rush. Also six second uh, can't use melee or range abilities. Insane. Mm. It is single target though. 
But yeah, crows are so good. This actually has a 20 meter range. You can prison somebody, you know. It's very good. A, a range crowd control, very good. This is also a silence, actually. Uh, disabling skill use and cancelling all cast time and channeled abilities. So this is range silence, actually. Then we could go Shadow Vortex or actually summon Wraith. Decreasing slow movement speed. We can actually just go into Redoubt, get CC immunity and then we cast this AoE. <laughs> and then we can actually teleport out because we already teleported in the Grasping Void for example. I'm not sure if malediction is gonna be open, so we'll see. We can just so good man, this game is so good. Very good tanky abilities. Good damage. And this is gonna be late game build, bro. <sighs> Single target crowd control together with uh, Fury. Disable their main right hand weapon for 5 seconds. I don't know, maybe it's good, maybe not. Good physical protection, good crowd control, good AoE. Double teleport, I think it was a go with this ability. <laughs> and it also shows you all the available combos, which is actually really good. 